Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 85, Tienda Mexicana. Well, I'm off to the tortilla factory today. I had painted one of their stores a couple weeks ago, as you've seen in the video. And uh, I guess they were pretty happy with it. So now they want me back at a, another location. So I'm hitting the trail. Got my car all packed up. Got my lunch. And I'm on my way. Hi. Is Abraham here? Yeah. Hmm. Is the manager in? Whoever it is. Yeah, I'm the window painter. Oh, he's not here. Okay. I'll give Abraham a call. All right. A green stripe. How how high do you want it up from the bottom? Okay, so you just want to paint the bottom in green. Carnesseria, C-A-R-N-E-R-C-I-A. -E oh yeah, you can just text it to me. Yeah, okay. Well, I had to go pick up some paint. I had to go to Miller Paint, and I also had to go to um, Sherwood Williams too. Fortunate for me, they were right next to each other. Like I talked about in my other videos, I usually mix up my lime greens and my green colors. But in this case, I'm going to be painting a huge area that's green. So I went ahead and bought a gallon. They didn't have it at Miller Paint, quite bright as I like it. And I was at Miller Paint because I was buying my Metro White, which is 11 bucks a gallon, recycled paint. Anyway, I headed over to Sherwin-Williams and I got this, electric lime. Well, in the front of the store, I have a fire lane, so I didn't want to park there. And, uh, but they have this little spot over here I backed into, which is great. And, uh, and it's actually covered from the rain, but I don't think it's going to rain today. I think the weather's going to stay good. I was trying to save them a little bit of money, so I told them, you guys, can, uh, you guys can roll out this bottom paint. It's no big deal. Anybody can do it, really. And they said, no, you go ahead and do it. So I was going to try to save them a little money, but oh well. First things first, I've got to get the tarps laid down. You know what's fun doing is peeling off the all this built up paint. I could sell that, it's a piece of art. Anyway, I'm peeling this off because I'm gonna actually use this the top, this lid, as my paint tray. And then I got my electric lime color. And just dump it in there. So this acts as a acts, acts as a tray, which is great. It's got a big lip on it and I don't have to worry about spilling the paint and stuff. Let's see if this will cover. I want to see if this will cover okay. Oh, I think it will. I think it's going to be fine. I think two coats of this will be will be totally fine. But this is what they want. They wanted it a, a really bright lime color all the way across, all the way down here. This is, this uh, using the tray is great. You just dump it out like that and then you can just move it along move it around, you don't have to worry about spilling it or anything. Oh, which I did. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Stuff happens. As long as you get some water on it right away, it's no big deal. Sometimes you gotta remove stuff too. And this big razor comes in handy gonna have to take this off so I'm gonna go around on the inside I've got to climb up there and uh, scrape off something on the window. Oh, okay. All right. Do you need some? Or do you already have stairs? 
What's that? I was going to tell you we have some stairs in the, in the room. Oh, I have a little bit of a okay. Thanks. I got it. It's so funny. I was, uh, I wanted to put something here because I wanted. They wanted to say, uh, "Sabado y Domingo, uh, Menudo, Delicioso." So I thought I'd have a character saying that. And uh, and I've got a pig and a cow, and they're both more uh, masculine or male characters. So I thought, well, I'll do a, I'll do a female character. Maybe I'll do a little girl. Maybe like an eleven-year-old girl. And then right then I turned and this little girl walked up with her mom and her brother and just totally fit the veil. I'm signing off from uh, San Francisco, Tienda Mexicana, <laughs> and uh, I've got all the two coats of white done, all the characters, and all the custom lettering. It's almost 60 different panes of glass, so it's a pretty big job. And uh, I also got all the, as you can see down here, I've got all the green done with that electric lime color that I bought. And uh, got all the coats of that done too. So I'm just heading out, and uh, this is uh, the end of part one. So stay tuned for part one. Either gonna have that tomorrow, or I might come back tomorrow, Saturday, or come back Monday. So just watch for it. You'll see it. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya. Sabato y Domingo, menudo, delicioso.